Gap earnings are imminent, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this in a little bug right here so that you can keep watching the price after the bell that's coming in just a minute. We know that other big names are reporting results next week, like Tiffany's. And guess what? There are all kinds of companies in advance that we're about to possibly tell you might go down after their earnings because they didn't hedge properly against a strong dollar. Wolfgang Kester is the guy. He's with Fire Apps. And look, you talk about hedging heroes and dollar disasters. <laughs> Yep. Let's get to it. All right. Let's put some pairings here together. In tech world, who's done it well? Who's going to blow it? Google has done a great job, continues to do a good job. They've been doing a great job for years. The ones who are going to blow it or not do as well, and they have historically not done as well as Apple. Tim Cook is getting more currency aware about this, but they still have some ways to go. They should be leveraging technology better, external technology to improve their process. It's doable. Okay, now let's talk about pharmaceuticals and consumer mm -hmm. names out there. Who's, who's going to do this right? Who's going to be a hedge hero when it comes to that stronger dollar, although the dollar's moderated a bit, and it's going to be the dollar disaster? The hedge heroes are going to be the likes like Eli Lilly. I think they're doing a really good job. They continue to work on this part as, as well as on the um, on the, the zero side. Um, which one was there on Colgate. there? I was and looking you know at the Colgate and the other ones. They're really looking at looking to improve Colgate, but they're a consumer products company that are they could be doing better on this. Yeah, you know what? We've got a no for J and J. How come these companies can't get it right? They've been in business for for years and years. I mean, I understand that currencies are very volatile, and how many currencies in some cases do they have to hedge against? Well, price? and they typically at J and J will have probably two, three hundred currency pairs. They believe they have. Uh, have currency elasticity in their price, so they think they can hedge it that way. That's not the way possible. The problem here is that they don't have the visibility. KPMG and DNT came out with research that said 60 plus percent of companies still don't have proper visibility to better understand their hedging program. Okay, keep this up on the screen, folks. So what, what Wolfgang is saying, and some of these have come out with earnings already, but these names that are on the screen, like Apple, like Gap, like Ralph Lauren, they haven't done as well hedging. No. Uh, who's the best at it? Well, Google is very good at it. Um, Accenture is very good at it. Pfizer is very good at it. Eli Lilly. So there's lots of great companies that are doing a really good job at it. Mm -hmm. They're leveraging technology and figuring out how do I get better visibility to this? How do I communicate that better to my investors? And at the end of the day, those are the ones who have better, more predictable cash flows. We're going to put all of these names up on LizClayman.com and, of course, uh, Facebook.com slash LizClayman. Wolfgang Kester of Fire Apps, we thank you.